Bienvenidos a Daily Cigar, I am Lizardo and this channel is about all things cigar related. Now last week I did the reaction video to Johnny Drinks and how badly I thought that he lit the cigar. The video was about how to cut and smoke a cigar. A couple of you liked it and I was sent another video to react to. This time is a video from Arnold Schwarzenegger. I really like the guy, he's been smoking cigars for a long time. His father-in-law introduced him into smoking cigars but this video that they sent me is kind of funny but I want to react to it because there are a couple of things there that, you know, shouldn't be done. Anyway, let's get to the video and let's have a look. So the video we have here is from Arnold and he says that, let's, let's play it. Took it out of my hand and he says, blah, blah, blah. Before you go and smoke so he the took cigar, the cigar from the humidor and then the sommelier, the guy I'm guessing is the sommelier, uh, took the cigar of him and let's, let's listen to what he when says. Went inside the tequila and started stroking the cigar. Then he went to me like this and then up. So the cigar he's got here doesn't have any band, so I cannot tell you what type of cigar it is or whatever. Obviously, he didn't even explain what cigar he was smoking on that day. Neither the tequila. I kind of see the bottle, but I don't know what, what he's drinking. But, I mean, if it's Arnold, it's probably one of his, you know, his own blends that he probably buys from one of the factories that doesn't even have a label on it. Let's continue watching. He can't have it yet. He lit it. He was putting it into my mouth. Okay. He kept lighting it. So this is very wrong. Maybe he likes it, maybe he did enjoy it, but now that I look at the video a bit more, I don't think it was a sommelier, or if it was, maybe a friend of his or something, because this shouldn't be done. One of the reasons that, in my other video, that I said that you shouldn't moisten the, the, the cup of the cigar so much, the head of the cigar so much, is because it will change the way that the cigar smoke. it will give you problems if you have too many uh, wet spots on it, especially, you know, I said, keep the band, so that your fingers, your the oils on your finger or food, or whatever you grab in, doesn't, um, you know, leave oil marks or wetness or anything in the wrapper. By doing what this guy did to his cigar, as you can see, you see a lot of wet spots. And yes, it's tequila and there's a lot of alcohol. Same if you were you doing it with whiskey or something, it will evaporate most of it. But I don't think really it will change the flavor much because you just put a little layer on top of the cigar. I don't think it's going to give you a tequila taste or a tequila note to it. Maybe he just smelled the tequila or, you know, the aroma of the tequila. And that's why he thinks there is flavor. I don't really think because uh, there is actually notes of, of tequila when you are um, smoking the cigar. Because it doesn't, you know, when it burns and stuff, it won't give you that much flavor. There are cigars that are aged in barrels, whiskey barrels, rum barrels, things like that. Those could, same as when they age, you know, a whiskey in a cherry cask or things like this, or maybe a bourbon or something, it will pull from the cask. Yes, because they've been aged for six, 12, couple of years even. But just coming there and just wetting the cigar with it, I don't think will give you any flavor. And I think it's really wrong because you will have problems with the burn, you will have problems with the tobacco just you know having a nice linear burn it will also you know might go off and the way that he's done he's put a lot he's gone around the whole cigar he's even rolled the cigar i don't think you should do that but let's watch a bit more <laughs> i i love arnold i like the way he talks and stuff the guy is amazing and i found this very funny he goes he pulled that out of my mouth and then they do this so he He's saying that, you know, you, the guy dipped the cigar into the whiskey. Now that will give you tequila flavor. That's a lot of moisture that is going into your tobacco. That, that this, the cigars are kept at a certain humidity. And when they're in contact with water, they will suck up all of that moisture on, on, on that little cup, the tequila. So yes, that will definitely give you the flavor. But then you ruin the whole experience because now all you're going to taste is wet tobacco with tequila so the real blend of that cigar is gone you can rest assured that that cigar won't taste like it was meant to be you know when when they roll it it is a kind of a cool trick but arnold if i am smoking a cigar with you man which would be such an honor i will ask you to please 
never do that, man, because I want to enjoy the cigar, especially, you know, a cigar with no pan gives me the vibe of this is a special blend maybe that you're getting for yourself or something like this. I really want to taste the cigar. I want to take the tobacco, the blend that is in that cigar. And by doing this, you just ruin the experience for me. But anyway, I love Arnold and I think everybody does. I'm not criticizing him here because, you know, he's just saying something that happened to him, something he does for a couple of friends. He's not trying to say that this is how you do it. Uh, he does it like that. He's been smoking for ages and we all, you know, enjoy things differently. Anyway, Arnold, if you want to invite me to smoke a cigar, man, I'm happy. So if any of you know Arnold, then send this video to him. Arnold, let's smoke, man. Come on. Um, anyway, I hope you like this short reaction video. It was sent to me and I think it was really cool. Uh, I find it more funny than, than actually wrong because, you know, he's not telling us this is how you do it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, watch the other videos. And if you really want to learn how to smoke cigars, I'm going to leave you this video over here. And in the meantime, don't forget to smoke less, but smoke the best. Cheers.